It's week three of April, and we have a good matchup on tap. It's the Seattle Mariners against the Kansas City Royals. This is 2K Sports. And it's baseball from Kauffman Stadium. A glimpse of the beautiful waterfall, just part of the great view here at this field. The home field advantage goes to a pitcher's yard today. We're in Kansas City with the Royals. Glad you could be with us, 2K Sports Major League Baseball. Jeff Supan, he'll be on the mound. Steve, as he gets going against these uh, Seattle bats, what's his concern? I've uh, got a good right-hander on the mound and a good lineup that he's facing right here. And it's going to come down to execution on either side to see who prevails. Now let's have a look at the lineup for the Mariners. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, historic numbers being put up by Alex Rodriguez throughout his career. And it doesn't seem like he wants to stop. He's just consistently a 30-homer, 100-RBI guy. Pencil him in in the four spot and watch him deliver. Play ball! And our leadoff hitter is Ichiro. It's the Kansas City Royals. They come off a win. They come into that game after losing six straight. So that's a big W to get off the snide. Ichiro grounds it. White. He's and out. that'll sit down Ichiro. Now we'll take a quick look at the Royals and how they line up defensively. And John, how about the individual factors out there? Well, Carlos Beltran is a guy that you just love to watch play the outfield position. Has such great long strides. He covers so much ground in such a short period of time. Really helps the pitching staff a lot by making those plays in the gap. It's going to be Boone. One out, nobody on. Supan sets and throws. Oh, one. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. Hit up the middle. Picked by White. So Boone is set down. There'll be more coming your way next Wednesday. It'll be Paul Canerco and the Chicago White Sox as they take the trip to Tampa Bay to face the Rays. You can watch all the action starting at 4 o'clock Eastern. And Griffey Jr. is in the box. Base is empty and two down. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0 and 1. <laughs> 0 and 1. Supan kicks and delivers. Looks at a fastball in there and it's quickly 0 and 2. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Ball that tied him up in knots, swung on and missed, side retired. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Just look at the Kansas City bats. We will when we come back. Let's take a look at the starting pitcher for Seattle. Steve, he gets going here against Kansas City. What do you think we're going to see from him? Well, it's South Paul on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, He's usually pretty darn good, but this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jams. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there, Gary. He hustled over, got the first base, and touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. One down. Here's Carlos Beltran. Now, different year, same story. 2010, the Royals again had all sorts of problems, especially against the American League West. Oh. And that's too low, 1-0. Oh. American League West is feasting on the Royals at this point. 13-24 and 24 last year against the West. I mean, that's a... That's a tough run. It is. Texas Rangers winning seven out of nine. Oakland A's winning six out of nine. I mean, just the quality pitching staff shut down this offense, and the Royals just can't pitch to these other lineups. Strike 
Swing and a miss. Beltran can't make contact. That'll even up the count. Well, in a lost season, really, for Beltran. Only played in 64 games. Here's a guy that when he plays his normal 140, 150 games, puts up monster numbers, just wasn't able to perform in 2010. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. Why, well, uh, for Beltran, he missed most of that season with a knee surgery and then decided they needed to shut it down when it kept uh, swelling up on him. That's a tough year. And I think the big question is, you know, power stems from strength in the legs. And I think there's some real questions. What kind of power numbers he's still going to have? And he did not cover ground in the outfield nearly like he had before in center field. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called upon to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Two outs and nobody on. The pitch. Ball. First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time. 1-0. Ball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. Oh. High, ball three. A lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose 3 0, but I say let it fly. This might be the best pitch he sees in the hole at bat. Hoping for a free pass that time, but that fastball is in there. Strike one. A pretty good pitch to hit right there. He takes it for a strike. Clearly, he didn't have the green light. And the fastball is over. Three and two now. Now the 3-2 pitch. Fastball called. Strike three in the side is retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. It's Alex Rodriguez to lead it off. Now if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. First pitch, a sinker in there. 0-1. Last season, a big 400 against the Royals. He delivers. That's a strike for an 0-2 count. Rodriguez has got to protect. Oh, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. He strikes out Rodriguez, swing and a miss. Well, this is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. Here's how the Western Division race is shaping up in April, brought to you by State Farm. Rangers out in front, the A's second place, Mariners in third, and it's the Angels in fourth. Nobody on base, one away. Watches the off-speed pitch, ends up 0-1. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics for this pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. Zupan sets and throws. Martinez will stay off the low one. So anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And Damon tracks it down. Let's take a look at the American League rankings from last season and check out what the Seattle Mariners did. Fourth in stolen bases. 14th in triples, and for Team Batting Average, well, the number's just not quite there as they did not make the kind of contact you want and really led to some difficulties in scoring runs.
Two out, space is empty. Oh. Curveball just misses, 1-0. One zero pitch a sinker swung on and missed one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Good looking fastball called the ball though two and one. Zupan sets and throws. Two. Slider called strike two. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. No scoring here. Ending this happening. Seattle's still hoping to put something up. going to be Jackson now. He'll start the home half of the second. Oh, wow. Slider just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, I think we're going to see the catcher call for a lot of sliders in this one, Gary. He's got a good one, and hitters just have not been able to figure it out. 1-0 oh. oh is a fastball that runs away. 2-0. Pretty safe bet here. That slider you were talking about will be the pitch we'll see when it's a two-strike count. Well, he'll set it up with his fastball. He'll throw the fastball on the corner and then go right to the slider in the same spot, expanding the oh. strike zone. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. The last thing you want to do as a pitcher is walk the leadoff hitter in any inning. All they can do is set up bad things for the remainder of that frame. Strike fastball, one. that's over for a strike. Three and one. Same thing here. Selective 3-0. Now you can still be selective on 3-1. Make them throw it where you want it. Swung on. Hit in the air to right center. One down. And here in the early part of the season, we have a look at the Central Division standings brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In the second spot, the Twins. The Tigers, third place. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And it's the Royals in last place. And it's Buck batting. Batting average, 248 against the Mariners. Base is empty with one away. That one's drilled to short. That's in for Kansas City. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out. That base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. It's going to be Sweeney and the team's best home run hitter right now. One out man on first. On the way. Strike he swings one. on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. Up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. That will bring up Johnny Damon. Now take a look at the Kansas City Royals rankings last year in the American League. Second in batting average, second best in hits. They also showed up in the top five in triples, and that's a real credit to their hitting and base running. Aggressiveness coming out of the batter's box. Well, no surprise that Johnny Damon had another great year in 2010. All he does is hit. It may not be pretty, but the job gets done. But he also took on a leadership role with some of the young players on his team. One out with runners at first and second. 
Ground ball, Rodriguez. And that gets down. Damon, base hit. This a great situation for some offense. Well, for Johnny Damon, maybe the home run numbers are down, but boy, as a contact hitter, he's still as good as he's ever been, and that's why he's such a value, guys, to any team. Right. I mean, that patience at the plate does rub off on the players around him, and he comes up with clutch hits. He's a good, solid contact hitter. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Fastball in there for a called strike. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Here's the delivery. There is a swing and a liner. And it falls as Buck comes across the plate. And Sweeney also scores. And Damon also comes in. He will clear the bases. What a shot. A three RBI triple. So with three runs on the board from that hit, we take a look at the impact. Here's our WPA graph. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. One out with a runner at third. Wants him off with one at the knees for a strike. Outstanding pitch right here. Great break, great movement on this pitch to get the strike down and in. Here's the delivery. Line towards second. That's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Let's see what the uh, Seattle Mariners have coming up. Final game with Kansas City is tomorrow. Some home cooking again as they return to host the Detroit Tigers. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then they take on division rival Oakland. Good chance there to make up for the losses in the previous series between the two. A little bit of a light schedule on tap for them. I think they expect to be winning over the stretch. White at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. Here's the first pitch. Swing, liner, back up the middle. That's down, the run's coming in. Refuel, reload, keep on going. This offense right now is on fire. the State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at those teams who had the highest average last year. Number one, the Rangers. The Royals second. The Twins third. Tigers fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. When you watch this team today, one of the top hitting teams in all of baseball last year, you can't get frustrated as a pitcher pitching against them because they are going to get base hits, but you're going to have to bear... Oh, he takes off for second. Oh. And he's in there at second base. Here's the 1-0. Then Beltron will take it down low for a ball. He's got a 295 career batting average off Seattle. All three. And that's a ball and a 3-0 count. Beltron uh, might have a green light here. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Here's the pitch. 
And he won't get that one in there. So on 3-0, he surrenders the free pass. Well, he didn't want to lay it right down the middle, but he misses with this one low. And now he's walked him on four pitches. He's got to settle down. It's going to be Brett. He's the most walked player in the league. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch to him. Sliders in there. No balls and a strike. Oh, one is a slider for a call strike. The hitter has to be protective. He has to be able to fight off that tough pitch and put it in play for a base hit if he can. And it's fouled away. Foul. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, the second inning, he's uh, run into a little bit of a problem right here, Gary. Over 20 pitches, and that's certainly going to come off the back end of this game. So don't expect him to go deep. Slider, two and two. He's ready. The 2-2 pitch. You're out. Got him. And they're able to avert any more damage. Side retired. Well, pitching struggles here as this offense just explodes in the second. Kansas City leads four to nothing. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. Olerud is the batter now. And he swings and hits this one foul. Foul! Oh. Oh, and one Supan kick. Swung on, hit. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. Let's see what the Kansas City Royals have coming up. They finish up the Seattle series tomorrow. They'll kick off a series with division rivals, the Cleveland Indians. Great series there. That series is four games. And then they'll have to contend with Michael Young and the rest of that lineup for Texas. And Jojima settles in. This is his first chance at bat. First, no out. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. But it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Right. Sinker waved at and missed. One and one. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. The one-two from Supan. Fastball just about had him, and it's a two-two count. Pitch on the way. Holds off on that slider, and it's 3-2. Well, the hitter didn't take the bait. That's a great pitch, that breaking ball down to the way, trying to get the hitter to chase. You have to give him credit. He didn't go out of the zone for it. Kicks and throws. Jojima. You're out. Fastball in there. Called third strike. One out. He just reared back and chucked it. Gave him his best fastball right there. Threw it right at the knees. See you later.
Runner at first with one down. Hot shot towards the hole. Seattle, here's their shot right now. Well, it's not going to take a genius to figure out that the hot zone for most Major League hitters is a fastball right down the middle of the plate. That's exactly what the pitcher threw him, and that's why he got hit hard. Runners on first and second with one out. Now the first pitch. Ball. Fastball, too low, 1-0. Facing each other just a couple of times last year, 0 for 2 against Supan. Here it comes. Ichiro taking the called strike. And it's hard to believe that Ichiro Suzuki's in his 11th year with the Mariners. Just the numbers he's put up, 200 hits every season. What more could you ask from a leadoff hitter? The one and one. Back up the middle. And he's up with it. Out. Over to second for one. And they turn the double play. And heading back to the dugout, Jeff Supon. Nothing doing through three innings for him. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Big bats ready to make an appearance. It's going to be Jackson now. He's our first batter, home half of the third inning. Here's the first pitch. Ball! Can't get him to chase that one outside, ball one. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. The 1-0 now. Called strike on the outside corner, and it's 1-1. One one. Pitching coaches love it when you can throw it down and away consistently. He got it done right there. One one pitch. Strike. He lays off that one, but it's a called strike, one and two. The pitcher showing that he can effectively throw strikes on the inside part of the plate. The hitter now has to make an adjustment, possibly opening up for that pitch next time. That misses the strike zone away to even things at two. Oh. And that misses the outside corner to run it full, three and two. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. No pitcher wants to start an inning this way. This is a free pass. Well, managers go crazy and pull their hair out when they see the leadoff walk. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at-bat ends in a walk? Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Jackson's on first. And the first pitch watches a fastball that's in there, 0-1. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. He delivers. Second pitch waves at the fastball, and suddenly it's strike two. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out. One away. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you in K-Cam. Get a better look. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. It's going to be Sweeney. He hit 263. Lifetime off the Mariners.
One out. Runner on at first. And the first pitch. Ball. First pitch is a slider low. 1-0. and oh. Good spot there. Just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. and a miss and he can't lay off at two and one well that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there the hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it that one fouled off oh. by Sweeney two two pitch Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, that's the way to get it done. You'd love to get him in three, but hey, keeping him off the base pass nonetheless. Well, the bottom line is you want to finish the guy off any way you can, and in this situation, he did it in a great fashion. The pitch. Damon will foul that one away. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. And he lays off that one outside, one and two. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. You're Change out. up, he takes that one. Strike three called, side retired. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Royals four, Seattle nothing. Batters two through four, coming right up going to be Boone. He bounced out his last time. Zupan sets and throws. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Okay, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Oh. Missed badly with a the fastball there, one and one. Swing and a hot shot. Makes its way through for a single. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. And Griffey Jr. is in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. Runner on first. Strike Watches one. that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Supan sets and throws. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that'll put Griffey Jr. on at first. And that'll bring A-Rod to the plate. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. What an explosive bat he's got. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. And now the pitch to Rodriguez. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0.
And that's a hit. Beltron to field. One away. Take a look at the teams who led in stolen bases last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Rays. White Sox in second. In third, the A's. Mariners fourth. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. But there's nothing like the stolen base to me as a guy who couldn't steal a lot of bases. It is still fun for me to watch because I love watching these guys, the way they tinker with the pitcher, the way they make the pitcher work, and that cat and mouse game between them, the pitcher, and the catcher about pitch outs and everything else makes it so exciting to watch. And this team, one of the best in the league last year at stealing bases. A smash between short and third. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Good offensive chance here. Three on and one out. Supan sets and throws. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. And here's the delivery. Swing and a line drive. And that looks like an RBI and a single. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate, and he took advantage of it. Well, the pressure really on here. You feel the energy in the stadium changing. Jeff Supon's going to have to work his way out of it. And he's desperately searching for a way to get out of this inning now. Minimal damage, three on, one out. Well, he's scuffling out there, but he still has his focus. He knows they have a three-run lead. He doesn't want to let his teammates down. Now the first pitch. Ball. Low for ball one. A 1-0 pitch. And that's over for a strike. 1-1. One one. This is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher. You get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone. Circle change. Can't find the zone. 2-1. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. The 2-1 pitch. 2-1 pitch. A sinker. Swung on and missed. 2-2. Two and two. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Line shot into center field. It falls in there. And Griffey Jr. will come across the plate. Dan Martin also crosses. Though the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. With a couple of RBIs on that swing. Let's see what that does for their win expectancy graph. Steve looked like he had to go down to get that one. That's a, that's a big, tough hit. Well, I tell you, he's battling at the plate. That's an outstanding at bat. The way he goes down on that ball, picking up two big runs here. And Jojima settles in. And an offense here that's going in the right direction. They've got time to put this ball game away. First, you've got to get back in it. Well, with the bats like we just saw, you know they're gaining some confidence right now, cutting the deficit and getting themselves a little bit closer. Let's see if they can take the lead. One-0 -oh pitch, a sinker in there, one and one Yeah, Steve, with that lead shrinking the way it is right now, you know, you can just tell by watching, they've got the feeling they're back into this thing. You just want to keep yourself in a position to close the gap early so you don't have a mount to climb later in the game. The later it goes, the more difficult it is. Let's see what he does here. That's one out, and two, a double play. 
A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. The Mariners, they are making progress. They've cut into this lead. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Just a little chilly here tonight. No sign of precipitation, though. And here's the first one. And that's in there at the letters for a strike. Well, the breaking ball up in the hitter's eyes. He gets the strike call on it. The hitter just couldn't pull the trigger. Inside for a ball evens the count at one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. One-one one pitch. Fastball. High. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Oh, Fastball three. gets away from him there, and it's three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Ichiro brings that one in. And it rolls around to the top again. In his rookie year now. One out, nobody on. First pitch. Strike it's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Ground ball, Rodriguez. He's Throw up. to first, gets him in there, two down. Well, nice play by the third baseman, been able to get over, get in front of the ball, and make the throw across the field. Well done. White at the plate. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Base is empty with two outs. On the way. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. And in there, he's two for three today. So Carlos Beltran will come up. Well, you would have to think with the speed that's on first base right now that they'll put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. Well, you got to take a look at Carlos Beltran. I mean, here's a guy that can hit from both sides of the plate. He hits in the middle of the lineup where he's expected to produce runs, but he also plays a position that he's expected to take runs away, and that's what he's done throughout his career. One of the best players going in baseball. Well, he gets a walk a lot. The American League has him in the top five. Lays off that one inside, ball one. You know, Gary, you're right. I mean, I mean as a walk leader, uh, I mean, he has such patience at the plate, and that's the kind of patience that really rubs off on teammates. The 1-0 now. And Beltron makes good contact here. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Well, a lot of hitters like that ball middle in, but middle off the plate, that's a tough pitch to hit. It tells you just how strong this guy is to be able to fight that pitch off to get that hit. It's going to be Brett. He leads the American League in walks. Two men on and two men out. 
Here's the first pitch, headed for the middle. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? No runs with a couple of hits and two left on. Fifth inning upcoming at Compton Stadium. And it's Omar Vizquel now. 364 lifetime number against Jeff Supon. First pitch of the A.B. to Vizquel. Oh. Sinker runs too far inside. Almost got him on the foot. Well, you have to have quick reflexes at the plate. The hitter getting out of the way there showed his reflexes. Here's the 1-0 from Supan. And he looks at a sinker in there. One and one. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. One one on the way. Sinker can't find the zone. Two and one. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. The two one pitch. And Vizquel with a swing and a miss. Count is even. Uh, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So got to be seeing the ball pretty well. Now the 2-2. On the ground to short. Number two. So Vizquel is retired. Those who led the league in hits last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Each row number one. Robinson Cano is second. Third is Adrian Beltre. Fourth spot's held by Michael Young. Fifth best, Josh Hamilton. Well, if you want to see a lot of hits, watch these two guys here today. Last season, two of the top batters in all of baseball with the ability to get hits. And that's what these guys do. They put the ball in play. They give themselves up when they have to to shorten their swing, take a more defensive stroke. But they always seem to be on base via the base hit. Ichiro taking the called strike. Well, Ichiro Suzuki, what can you say? As someone who's played in the big leagues for 10 years like I did, I've never even approached 200 hits. He's done it for 10 straight seasons. He's unbelievable. Oh, and one, Supan kicks and delivers. In the infield. And that'll sit down Ichiro. Nice easy ground ball to shortstop. Able to get over, make the play. Good strong throw across the infield to get the runner at first. It's going to be Boone. He singled in his last at bat. Two outs and nobody on. Supan sets and throws. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Plays off the curveball. Good pitch, though. 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Takes a swing at that fastball. Doesn't get to it. 1-2. and two. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. It's fouled away. One-two pitch coming. And the sinker swung on and missed. Side retired. So one-two-three inning for Jeff Supon. He's on the hook for a win if he can continue to pitch well. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. And if you've just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Tough pitch to hit right here when you run this fastball up and away. You have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Hit foul by Jackson. Foul! Here we go, Casey. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. 
Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in K-Camp. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at-bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And it's Buck Batting. He's 3 for 11 career off Pinheiro. And it's Buck Batting. Struck out swinging last time. One out, bases empty. First pitch on the way. That one swung on its line. Out number two. Here's a look at the State Farm leaderboard. The players with the most triples last year. Well, these sorts of speedy players really allow teams to score runs in a different way. They don't have to wait for the three-run home run. They don't have to wait for that ball hitting the gap. They can manufacture runs with their speed. Two outs, space is empty. Pinheiro with a windup. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. A swing line to left center. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit. And who knows what can happen after that. One for two in the ball game. Runner on first, two away. Huck Sweeney stealing. Oh, what? He is safe at second base. Pinheiro with a windup. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Sweeney scores. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. Run scored, another runner on base. Seitzer up at the plate. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. I'll tell you what, Gary, we're seeing a solid, consistent, professional approach from these hitters, and it's paying off because they now have the lead. Damon's a runner at first base. First pitch on the way. Right. And Pinheiro's pitch. That'll be looked at for his strike. Takes the count to 0-1. Consistency matters. Don't give up at bats. And he didn't. Uh, that's right. Consistency is the difference between the good teams and the bad teams. Let's see if the consistency continues. Good wood. Hits it right back up through the pitcher. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Royals out in front by two. And the three hole will be coming right up. And Griffey Jr. is in the box. Single and scored his last time around. First pitch, here it comes. 
A line drive towards short. He's out. One away. And Alex Rodriguez is at the plate. There's one down. Well, sadly for Alex Rodriguez, he has set the bar so high, consistently 35, 40 homers, 120, 130 RBIs, that when he only hits 30 homers and drives in 125 runs, people start questioning, is he done? Alex Rodriguez is far from done. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And I'm sure A-Rod uh, agrees with you, John. He's not done. You look at the numbers he's putting up in the middle of that lineup. They're sensational. No, he's not done, but compared to the standard of a guy that that put up big numbers and hit over 50 home runs before and who's getting paid close to 30 million dollars a year you know the numbers seem more ordinary just because of the expectations of the money Ball tried to get him to chase that curve it's one and two but you want to start this pitch outside. The curveball is better when it's away from the hitter to break out of the zone, but it never had a chance of being a strike. The one-two on its way. You're out. Rodriguez watches that one go by strike three. You have to protect with two strikes. It doesn't matter what they throw. He gets the curveball there, down and in. You at least have to fight that pitch off. We're going to see Martinez here. He had a single in his last time up. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. First pitch is a big curveball in there. 0 and 1. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics for this pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. Supan sets and throws. Ball. And it's taken outside by Martinez. That'll be a ball. Sharp bite to that slider, one and two. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back, and then when you see it good enough, let it fly. The one two from Supan. You're out. Here's a sinker in there. Side's going to be retired as that's called for a third strike. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Kansas City not letting go of this lead. Cleanup man in the box again. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. Here's the first pitch. And Pinheiro misses low with that one. Here's the 1-0. Lined up the middle. Boone. And that's in plenty of time for the out. White at the plate. Two for three thus far. Base is empty with one away. The first pitch. And Pinheiro misses low with that one. Deals. Oh, fastball runs inside. That'll dust him off a little. Well, that's a wake-up call right there. You think, ah, I'm going to go up, have a nice leisurely at bat. Not so fast. Look out. Yeah. 
That's a foul ball. Oh! That one's hit well. Griffey Jr.'s there. The catch. And he has it for the second out. Now with two outs, here's the chance for Carlos Beltran. In the top ten in walks, not a bad list. A fresh count on Beltran, here it comes. A swing line to left center. And that gets down Beltron. Base hit. As one of the leaders on this team in walks, he just rarely chases the ball out of the zone. He finds a way to get on base. It's going to be Brett and frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. A runner on first with two outs. And here's the first one. And Pinheiro outside, missing. That's going to be a ball. Look, okay, with this club, I mean, they, they need to be patient, and he is the guy that sets the tone. He works the count. The 1-0 now. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there, 1-1. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Swung on, that is hit. And Vizcal picks it up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Kansas City 5, Seattle 3. And the number 8 spot rolls around. He'll lead off the 7th. First pitch to him. He fouls that one off. Zupan oh! sets and throws. It's the curve by him that time. He's in control with that 0-2 count. Uh, here in the seventh inning right now, nobody out. This is the time to get things going. You're down two runs. Make up the ground right now. Don't wait. You know, the pressure mounts. Plus, you get late in the game, you're going to see their best reliever coming in. This is the time to do it. Able to set him down there. Chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. He's got the fastball working. He's just rearing back and throwing. That's three straight strikeouts. Olerud is the batter. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. One, oh. one out right here, up by two in the inning. You want to limit base runners and make plays. Try to, to eliminate the lead runner, but get outs if you can. Sinker drops low. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch, swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first, that's the second out. Uh, he's got everything working for him right now. Every pitch, he's throwing for a strike. And that's nine in a row that he's set down.
And Chojima settles in. We'll get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the first pitch. Oh Fastball misses away, 1-0. Well, offensively here in the seventh inning with two outs, you cannot just lay down here and say, well, we'll start it off next inning. You got an out left here in the seventh. See what you can do to generate a Pick up one if you can, and then hope maybe that you can start to finish it off later. Can't connect with that fastball. Now it's one and one. You have to have some kind of bat speed to catch up to that kind of a fastball up and in right there. Just couldn't do it. The one-one pitch. Swings hits this one. It's going to be fielded by Jackson. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Well, this is not what you imagine when you go out to make a pitching change. You bring a guy in from out of the bullpen, and the first hitter he faces, he serves up a hit. Let's see if he can get out of this. And it's Omar Vizquel now. Look at a big season average for him last year, 368 against the Royals here at Kauffman Stadium. Two outs and a man on first. The pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Throws to first side is retired. No runs on a hit and they'll strand. Kansas City maintaining their advantage. It's going to be Jackson now. He'll start the home half of the seventh. Here's the pitch. Line fair down the line and right. And that gets down. Jackson a single. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And it's Buck batting. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Runner on first, no out. Here's the first pitch. And Pinero's pitch, that'll be looked at for his strike, takes the count to 0 1. Good, hard, boring, sinking action on that one. Good stuff. Good patience, John Buck. He takes it and gets the count even on the ball. One for two last year against Joel Pinero. The 1-1 one, one now. Smash towards the middle. And there's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoke. He stung it, but right at the second baseman. One down, runner at first. Pinheiro with a windup and a swing and contact made. It's going to be Griffey Jr. Two away. Here is Johnny Damon. Jackson's on first. First pitch on the way to Damon. And Pinero's pitch. That'll be looked at for a strike. Takes the count to 0-1. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. And Johnny Damon watches that one go by. The count is even. Over seven at-bats last year. Very good four times got on base off Pinheiro. Strike Damon two. watches it for a strike. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate. Good late movement. And Jojo McCall's for the pitch. Strike three, Damon on a swing and a miss, turned away. 
The inning complete for Joel Pinheiro. And the Mariners coming up next. The top of the order is due up next. And it's Ichiro to lead us off. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. Yeah, nobody out here in the eighth inning. Strike, strike, strike. Throw strikes. Go right at him. Force him to put it in play. A home run doesn't hurt you. Don't walk anybody. Here's the 1-0. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by. 1-0-1. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Good downward movement on that pitch. It's one and two. Well, anytime you can spot your slider down in the strike zone, you're going to have a lot of success in the game. And I tell you what, any hitter will tell you, anytime that slider's down in the zone, it's almost impossible to hit. And Ichiro looks at that one for a ball. That'll leave in the count. And here's the pitch. Lays off, and we're full three and two. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, that misses ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Fastball taken high. 1-0. Oh. Well, wow, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher. Took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on. Liner to right. And it's in there. The tying run on board. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. First pitch, here it comes. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Here's the pitch. Right. He watches this one right down the middle, 1-1. One one. I did not swing at that pitch. I mean, he throws your fastball right down the middle. You got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. Well, it's tough to do any damage when you throw a slider down in the strike zone, and that's exactly what he did right there. Got the hitter to swing through it. The one-two pitch. That pitch misses low. Two and two now. At the belt, here's the 2-2 pitch. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. Well, uh, he got a great pitching sequence right there and needed it here late in the ballgame. And coming with the runner in scoring position, absolutely necessary. And here's Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod. 6 for 18, the numbers last year against the Royals in Kansas City. 
One out with runners at first and second. Here's Rodriguez's first look. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's a great pitch right there. Four-seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle. You're running the risk. He could hit it out of the park. He delivers. Swing and a line at a right center. And that is in there. The go-ahead run on base. And Ichiro comes in. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at-bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. Gary, down by a run, it's going to be interesting to see how aggressive they are on the bases. Not much speed at first, but if they got him started, they could draw a throw along the runner from third to head home. Here's the pitch. There's a called strike of the belt, so he's in the hole now, 0-2. Well, I'll tell you, what an approach from this team. I mean, coming back into this ball game, one run away from tying it up, and you have to credit how relentless they've been offensively. Fastball got him two down. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. Oh, this is a biggie right here. A great matchup right now, Gary. When you're looking to try to get something going to manufacture runs, bringing in a guy who can run can be absolutely critical and beneficial. Two men on, two men out. First pitch on the way. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strike. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs. But two, it sets up his other pitches. Here's the pitch. Liner between first and second. And it gets down. And it's tied up. The tying run crosses the plate. That hit knocks in a run. We take a look at the win expectancy graph. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. Oh! Fastball runs inside. 1-0. Oh. Well, the manager's got to be very proud of his team right here. They never seemed to quit. They fell behind but kept attacking. And now they've tied it up in the eighth inning, Gary. At the belt, the 1-0. Oh. And that's off the plate. Away. Ball two. Ball can't catch the corner. He's behind 3-0. Oh. A good action on that pitch running away, but it's a ball you have to get down to the zone. Don't throw it up. And that misses. That is ball four. The possible go-ahead will move over to third. Well, he didn't want to lay it right down the middle, but he misses with this one low, and now he's walked him on four pitches. He's got to settle down. Well, tomorrow's headlines are going to be written right now. 
And the runner on third, uh, the go-ahead run here. So here's a chance to do some damage. He's got to find a way to play the run no matter what. This changes the whole complexion of the game if he can get a base hit. The pitch. Ball! First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Swing and lined up the middle. And it's through. Base hit for Jojima. And the second runner is headed home. And he comes in to score. And they have snatched that lead. And they manage to knock in two runs. Now this pitch comes right down Main Street. Boy, he just takes advantage of it, ripping the knot. Uh, his eyes were lighting up on that pitch. That was just when he could put the bat on easily. And it's Omar Vizquel now. I well, always hope you can get this offense going late in the ball game. They have, and they've got a lead. Well, they were given an opening, and they took it. And now they have a lead late in the game. Two and out. First pitch of the A.B. to Vizquez. Swing, hot shot. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. And he scores from second base. Well, they need a big out right here, Gary. They're giving up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, again, to show that they can get them. And here's Ichiro. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup, just stay in charge. Right now they are. Offense coming to life late here, tacking on additional insurance runs, taking the pressure off the pitching. Two down. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch, back up the middle. Oh, mercy. Boy, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. And Jojima comes in to score. Hitting. Well, they say it's contagious. It is contagious here in this ball game because they can't be stopped. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has keep, kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get an out. Two men on and two men out. Soria with the windup. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Boy, these late-inning comebacks are huge for momentum. And it really re-energizes everybody, including your bullpen. Now they've gotten the lead in the eighth inning. They've got to be feeling good about this one. Now swing and a shot towards second. Throws on to first side is retired. So they come back to take the lead in a big, big inning. The Mariners out in front now. Seitzer is the batter. He's driven home three in this one. Well, he's already produced three runs in this game. He's clearly swinging the hot bat. You know they're going to be very careful with him here. And the first pitch. A smash towards the hole. And he'll put that one away for out number one. There's shortstop in the box. He bounced out his last time. Oh 
One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. Starts him out with a sinker for a strike. You know, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Now Pinheiro with the 0-1 pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he throws the first in time, out number two. White at the plate. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Two outs and nobody on. Pinheiro with a windup. Sinker just missed. One and oh. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You're, the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. The 1 0 now. 1 0 pitch, a slider in there. What a one. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. One one pitch. Hold Missed two. with the fastball outside. Two and one. Two one pitch, a fastball outside. Three and one. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. That misses ball four. Now you got to be watching for that steal down there. Good eye by the hitter there, laying off that low ball, understanding below the knees, take it. So Carlos Beltran will come up. Base hit his last time. Two outs and a man on first. A fresh count on Beltran. Here it comes. And there's Vizquel for the third out. You have to get through those as quick as you can, and Joel Pinheiro does it again. And the Mariners coming up next. And Griffey Jr. is in the box. He'll start the ninth. The first pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. There's a reason they put the number one down when signaling for the fastball. It has to be your number one pitch, your best pitch. That's what he saw right there. Soria with the windup down the left field line, and that'll put Griffey Jr. on it first. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one, and boy, you get 15 hits in a game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. Runner on first now for Adrian Beltre. In nine at bats last year, a very good four hits off the Royals here at Kauffman Stadium. Hit up the middle. He's up with it. There's one. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. We want to make sure you at least get it out in this situation. But the runner is able to advance now in the scoring position. One out with a runner at second. And the decision's been made. Sign goes out walking. And it's not just respect for dishing out. It's a bit of strategy, and they're going to go with a reasonable gamble, playing the odds. And the number seven batter in the box. Got a couple of RBIs thus far.
Runners on first and second with one out. Soria with the windup. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. Here it comes. There's a swing towards the hole. Gets one at second. And two, they pull off the double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Mariners nine, Royals five. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. To those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. First pitch. Swing and a line to left. And Ichiro brings that one in. One away. I said, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. It's going to be Jackson now. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Nobody on base. One away. Pinheiro with a windup. And he lays off one that's right down the middle. 0-1. Oh uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. And here's the delivery. One one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And that one falls in there for a single. So John Buck will come up. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. One out man on first. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. He had a three for seven last year off Pinheiro. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike to Jesus. He's now got to guard the plate. Fastball is up high, then it's one and two. Oh. And he leaves that one alone. David to Jesus evens the count. He's ready. The 2 2 pitch back up the middle. And uh, Jesus picks up the single. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, you just can't explain how valuable a pinch hitter is. A guy who can come off the bench cold and deliver a big hit. De Jesus is on at first, on at second, Jackson. And the first pitch. He swings, hits a ball to right field. Two down here in the inning. Look at our leaderboard brought to you by State Farm. A look at the teams with the most hits when it mattered most. The Twins, number one. The White Sox, second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth, the Red Sox. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, nothing demoralizes a team more than being able to hit in the clutch, and this team is one of the best at it in baseball. With runners in scoring position, you think you get a guy out, the next guy beats you. This team just sends one after the other with guys who love hitting in clutch situations. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way to Damon. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike. His batting average, 306 lifetime against Joel Pinheiro. Okay. 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 
Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. You're up. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. A lot of good things in this game for Seattle today. They get the victory. And now let's get a recap of an outstanding individual performance. He's our player of the game. And a lot of these times you get multi-hit games, but they really don't mean anything. This one, though, was very important because everything he did constituted them scoring runs. He set the table, he scored runs, and that's why he's our player of the game. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. This is Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.